Let's get this money. You see Derek's lights over there. Yes, we're waiting on Kevin, ain't we? Is he coming in? Alright. Yeah, there he is right there. Huh? He said he was coming in. Okay. He just went up in there. that I'm going to get. I'm going to talk to B&H Photo. Those guys are very helpful. But I'm wanting a gimbal to put my put these cameras in that I'm using primarily now. They got Im image stabilization, but they're not as smooth as what, uh, what I would really like for them to be. And uh, a gimbal will uh, really helped me out on that but there's so many of them to uh, pick from I've been studying them the last couple months and uh, I gotta I kind of know what I want but I'm not sure so I'm gonna talk to B&H our next rain out day that we have I'll call B&H and I'll get me one ordered I'm gonna do that I'm also gonna get a uh, new drone my drone now is uh, five years old it's a Phantom 2 so it's older. I'm gonna go to a uh, Mavic Pro. That's what I'm gonna go to. It's a little bit smaller drone, a lot better drone, and uh, do that. And I'm also going to, if they come out with another new iPad, mine's the sixth generation I got last year, I will be getting another one of them this year, swap it out. And I'm gonna go to a uh, Mac. I'm uh, Gonna get another new laptop this year, and I'm gonna go do a Mac. We're gonna watch Derek and uh, Chad here and both run a little bit. That's a big buddy tree right there. He just saw it all the way through. comes out with another uh, tough camera it's a TG5 that I'm filming this on right here if they come out with a TG6 I'll get I'll get it immediately I don't care what it costs I'll get it my preference is the Canon the uh, I like my favorite camera is a 80d but it's not feasible to film with out here
the, the ADD is just a little bit too big and heavy, you know, to tote around out here like I do with all the videos that y'all see. The uh, so the small camera, the the Canon G7X Mark II, is the next my favorite because it's a, it's a small camera like this TG5 is. But I have to be careful. It's a it's a pretty expensive camera. And uh, it just it wouldn't hold up to the elements out here. Like so, I can use it out here. I could use it today with it not being dusty or anything like that. I could use it, but I don't want to mess it up. It's a that's a great great camera. See that thing full reach all the way out there. That's a full size tree. Don't even phase the machine at all. Reach all the way out and still pick up, pick that tree up, that entire tree up like that. That's pretty good. Our other one, if you did a full reach on a full size tree like that, you would have to bring the boom into you just a little bit where you could get your leverage right so that it would pick it on up off the stump. That one right there doesn't not really affect it any at all. It'll just, if you can cut it, you can pick it up. So what Derek's doing, he's looking for the spots with the most brush standing. If you've watched him and paid attention, he's knocking that brush down crossways in front of him. That way he's tracking on top of that brush. So he's making his own mat as he's going. So he throw that tree down, all right, now he'll track, when he tracks forward, he'll put some more trees right there. When he tracks forward, he will be on their tops up there and he'll keep knocking that brush down to keep him a mat so that he'll stay on top of the ground. Because if he don't have some stuff up under him as wet as it is right now, he's gonna go down too. And we got Chad coming back. He's over my shoulder here. I'm gonna turn the camera back around here in just a second and pick him back up as he's coming back by me. Fans reversed right now. I can hear. It. Just turned off.
So he'll grab that one. He's going to grab that pull that's going to be to his left to my right, probably. All right, watch that. See, it's starting to sink a little bit on him. So he pushed himself, come all the way up with the boom, and he's going to walk himself till he gets up here on some better stuff. He's not going to be able to grab that other pull that was to his left there. He's going to get that one that's on his right. That's where he's going after. He's looking for better ground right now. He's looking for stumps, brush, anything that he can hit with those tires to keep him on top of the ground. That's what he's looking for. And that's kind of the that kind of dictates your path when you're on this in this kind of ground like this. So he's going to add a lot more weight. Plus, he's got to pull those trees loose that on that second pull that he's grabbing right now. They're hung. The tops are hung. So he's got to move them. Once he moves them, then he'll be kind of free. So he's got all all three axles are locked completely in positive right now. See him pushing himself. All right, he gets past them butts right there. He'll about have it made because he's got some pretty good brush right here to get on top of. See, he'll hit that tree. So we have that little sapling to run on. He's got it made now. So he went straight over all that brush. So you spin that seat around. Never checked up. When he did that, the control swapped too all at the same time. Watching me, I'm watching these limbs. These limbs fixing to whack me, <laughs> miss me. I didn't want to move though. Logging is some logging is some cool stuff. Logging is some very cool stuff. I take it for granted because I see it every day out here and what we do. X Men put logging on the map years ago when it came out. And then uh, Bobby Goodson the Swamp Loggers and them was a uh, was a big boost for logging. When, they're, when they were on TV. And so, when I was in school, <laughs> it was not cool to be a logger. I got looked down upon a lot because I worked on a farm. I grew up on a farm. Nobody had anything to do with me because I was just a poor old farm boy. And uh, just nothing, you know, just it wasn't cool. So now, 30 years later, or back say say 20 years, 10 years ago, when all that, when the axe me and all that stuff come out, then all of a sudden, I went to super cool because I was a logger. You know what I mean? And people wanted to wanted to talk to me all of a sudden and uh, stuff like that. But I don't know. It's it's crazy. But logging, logging's a very cool deal. Very cool deal. We'll climb back up here and help Kevin.
you that. It's been about two weeks now since we've seen the sunshine. The last time it was out was, uh, I did a saw video and it was sunny like this on a Saturday two weeks ago. It's helping, <laughs> but I mean, even though the sun's out, it road's still wet right here. A lot of people want to know how we're, how we're getting in and out. We've got a uh, company road right here. You can see it, and I'm loading, sitting right in it right here. It's a rock gravel road, and uh, that's, that's the only way we're doing it right now. But it is gonna take, it is gonna take some drying to get this back dried out. I mean, a long time. You can see all the limbs where we've got everything matted down through there too. So we made today complete slop. 14. And we got some wood to start on for Monday here. Come back down that way. Oh yeah. So let's take a vote. Chocolate pudding or diarrhea? Which one is it? Truck driver asked me how I got that tree stuck through my tracks right there. I said, well, it's my magnetic personality. What you think? <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this today. We're going to make like a horse turd. And we about to hit the trail, baby. <laughs> what y'all think? It always kills me how these, some people are so brand oriented. You know, the Ford, Chevrolet, Dodge deal, the John Deere, Caterpillar, Tiger Cat deal, you know. The thing about these videos, these are the equipment that we have, that we run, and I just show what we run. I don't say that Tiger Cat's the best or nothing like that. You can watch the videos and you can decide what works and what don't work. And we have John Deere and Tiger Cat stuff, both. Uh, very impressive uh, somebody sent me a message last night and, and they're right and what they said um, it was James James said y'all have some incredible equipment and we do uh, I want everybody to understand though for us to have this equipment like we got it has taken us more than 30 years to accumulate and to get this stuff that we got and Things are so bad right now. I mean, it's just a basically a week to week type of deal right now with it uh, as wet as it is. And uh, we were gonna work today, today Sunday, Sunday morning, right before this video publishes and I'm filming this right here. Uh, the sun is actually out again today and we were gonna work today, but we ran out of ground that we could possibly run on. I mean, we ran everywhere we could run yesterday and to do what we did. So we opted. Derek's um, knee, he has a lot of, a lot of y'all know, he has a Crohn's disease and it affects your joints really bad. Um, and his knee was swollen up about the size of a football yesterday. He literally could not walk. Uh, he ran and cut till lunch and got out of the cutter and could not we would have had to help him climb back up to get in the cutter so he lined it up with a doctor to go get the fluid drained off his knee yesterday and we so we opted not to do anything today to give him some rest because uh it would have been tough today to try to run and just it just needed to dry too we got we ended up with 40 40 something loads last week is what we ended up with so we i mean we had a we had a decent week, but not nowhere near what we what we need to have. So we'll hammer it back. Uh, we'll come back Monday, which will be tomorrow, and we'll we'll hit it hard and uh, we'll go at it. Uh, somebody in the comments said that that's not going to make the machine pull no more because the video Saturday. They're watching Chad what he drives, and I responded back and I told him I said that chad ain't trying to pull no more that's what chad pulls every drag he brings chad has that machine maxed out and then some that's how he runs the machine and that's how we only run one skitter to feed kevin with is by how he runs it. i guess i just they just hadn't seen the videos of chad running and uh and pulling and, and how he how he comes to the um processor with with wood 
Not sure what I'm going to do today. Uh, I got, uh, this is a over a three and a half inch diameter neodymium magnet. It's almost three quarters of an inch thick. It's got 888 pound pull on it's what it's got. And I've always wanted to try this and mess with it and put a rope on it and go magnet fishing. I'm going to go probably after lunch, uh, hook up to my boat today and uh, go to some of our boat ramps and I'm going to drop this thing in the water around the docks and all around here and I'm going to film it and we'll see what I grab with this thing. Alright, we'll pick up iPhones. There's enough metal in iPhones that will pick them up. So it'll be interesting to see. I'm sure there's probably some glasses, some pliers and stuff like that. And I'm going to film it all while I, while I uh, uh, do it. I had a guy this morning said that uh, he was going to unsubscribe to me because he thought the Milwaukee stuff was turning into commercials. It has been nine days since I showed anything, anything like that in my videos. And I responded to him and I told him, I said, that's exactly what you need to do. And that's the beauty about YouTube. And that's the thing I don't understand about YouTube. If it's something you don't like, well, I'll watch it. You're... You, everybody out there, all of y'all are in control of whether you watch my videos or not. Whether you watch just a little bit of them or you watch whatever. It doesn't matter to me. And he said he was going to unsubscribe. And one or two or ten, I lose a hundred and something subscribers every month. So, I mean, it, but the, the growth is still there. The growth is still going. You can look at the numbers. Y'all can all see the numbers and stuff like that. Um, but... I should have told the guy that, look, I don't owe you anything. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't, he makes it out like I owe him, you know, or whatever, which I don't. So, <sighs> got stuff coming in right here. People sending me messages and everything. If you're a dude, did one just come in just now? I saw it pop up. If you're a dude, Please don't send me a message that's got a heart in it. It gives me the wrong idea. I'm not going to respond to that. I've gotten two since last night from dudes that had hearts in the message. One just popped up right now. Please don't send me a message with hearts. <laughs> y'all have a good Sunday. Appreciate all of y'all watching my stuff. Later, Taters.